Hey everyone, it's Colonel Mustard on Haven in the Indianapolis. And uh, this is a ship I've been trying to get uh, replays out for a while, but every time I'm ready to record it, an update comes out and then it's unusable. I know I could download an older client, but I just was like, All right, I'll just keep playing the ship. So I've been playing it sporadically, mainly to do that Indianapolis Marathon mission. And as in all replay breakdowns, I'm going to pause it here and there. And the first time I'm going to do it is for the team lineup. So the first thing we're going to see is, yeah, five battleships. Three of them are my tier. I have top tier, though. And it is a carrier game. Um, I think a couple games before this, I dropped the AA mod to pick up uh, gun accuracy because I kept getting those one Citadel, one overpen volleys that was kind of irking me. So I wanted to see if it was going to, if I was going to see an improvement in my dispersion. Uh, I was kind of regretting it this game, and you'll see more why later. Uh, but pretty much all the cruisers are, are good food for my ship. Uh, the DDs. Indianapolis, I mean, it has that good radar, but it DDs are, unless they're close, you're not a massive threat. And really, any battleship can, can own you. Carriers, you're not a massive threat to them, especially a Saipan. Uh, like a same-tier carrier with same-tier planes, you can actually do some work. You're not as scary as an Atlanta, but you can do some work if you're running defensive aid, which is what I run. Uh, so we'll go ahead and unpause and uh, continue the battle. Uh, Indianapolis it was uh, is one of my higher performing ships, and I don't think it's because the ship is very good. This is not a ship that I would recommend to, let's say, a newer player. Um, an experienced player who enjoys a challenge is what this ship kind of fits into. And there are some major... Da like uh, People compare it to the New Orleans. We'll pause this real quick. There's a strike coming in, and I think he's going. they're going for the Moss. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stick as close to this island as I can so that I can help this Moss out as much as possible. And I'm waiting to when I think this strike's about to happen. And when I think he's going to go for it, I'm going to pop my defensive AA. Yeah, he's going for it, and now I pop it. Now, what I think he did is he saw that I popped it, and he went away. This Saipan player isn't bad. He read that, he saw it, and now he's pulling away. I successfully saved the mass. Yay. Now, the... Main reason, uh, one of the reasons I'm showing this replay is one, I show uh, the weaknesses of the ship, and I show the strengths. And I felt like it was a good replay to do both. Not the best replay that I could showcase, but the replay that was like super good for this. I lo I, I can't record without doing a new game client, so we're going with this one. Now I, I have a bad habit here. And this is entirely due to that the most of the games I've played recently have been in clan battles. So I have this kind of an issue where I rely a little too much on my team. Now, I'm not saying this, uh, uh, this player right next to me is a bad player. But I, ex I kind of expect him to set a smoke screen at some point. Oh, and he does. I uh, just not in a way that benefits me in any way whatsoever. And so I'm actually slowing down in anticipation that he's going to drop a smoke screen and then he's going to peel out. And I look at my radar coverage. He spots something and they go into a smoke. I'm here and I can spot them and he can just shred in, uh, well, me, the Omaha, maybe the Atlanta, who knows. I'm just checking those planes real quick. But yeah, but my mistake right now is that I'm going way too deep for the armor this cruiser has. And I'm kind of actually hoping this uh, this guy is going to like peel out. 
So I'm I'm gonna give him early warning. I'm popping my radar so he sees, and I go, oh, okay, two battleships like right here. Okay, and right, and I get a little indecisive here. I start to think, okay, I should turn out. Then I see this smoke, and I'm like, if he extends it, I'll go into it. He doesn't extend it though, and it kind of puts me in this awkward position where I gotta decide: am I gonna back up and try to retreat? Or am I going to peel out and try to run away? And then I see these airplanes coming. And I got—I have to run. I can't get in that smoke fast enough. I have to run. And my biggest mistake wasn't necessarily relying on that player to help me. My biggest mistake was pushing this deep in. And I'm going to get punished heavily for it. So I empty my barrels. Get a nice salvo. And the Indianapolis's armor... And this Dallas is going to be my primary target. At this point, I think I screwed up. Oh, and this is a replay bug, by the way. It's going to stutter a bit in this early part of the replay. Um, I mean, you can see the FPS is up there. There's no ping because this is a replay I'm playing on my computer. But you see how hard I'm being punished for this. And if these guys were shooting, if the, the, the those battleships were shooting AP, there's a good chance I'd be a lot more dead than I am now. But uh, you could describe the uh, Indianapolis's armor as being the more replay bug. It's going to stutter again. As being made of used condoms, where the only thing they're really good at is stopping fluids from getting past, and that's about it. Because pretty much, unless I dodge it, everything is a damaging hit. The armor on this ship is just a slight step above the Atlanta. And even though British cruisers have kind of a weaker nose and stern, they still have a much harder to hit Citadel. And if these guys were shooting AP, I, I would be a lot more screwed than I am now. The Dallas is still my main target. I'm waiting. I, I, went, I shot at that guy to, uh, to make him make a mistake so that I could take this shot. And, I, and the game didn't show it, but I actually held off on targeting him until literally I went to fire on him. And now I'm at 6k health. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick here. It is less than 6 minutes in the game. And I've spent most of my health points. I have super screwed up. And I'm going to spend the rest of this game making up for that. So I'm going to go and start turning my turrets around. I'm almost to the point on my concealment where I could disengage. I only need 0.2 kilometers now. 0.1. Point eight, boom. And it's time for me to get undetected. There it goes. So now I'm in this predicament where it's super early in the game. Our team is down. And I'm only at 6,000 health. I screwed up early. And the rest of this game, I have to make an impact. To, I have to try, at least try and make an impact. And not make any more mistakes. So that I give my team the best chance of winning. And so right now, I'm going to farm this Iron Duke for a bit. Now, the reason I'm doing that, and if I could pause it, his turrets aren't facing me at all. This is free damage. Nothing else is in range to punish me except him. So I'm going to, I'm going to punish him. I'm going to try to get as many fires as I can. He's trying to get his turrets around. I know I can farm this a bit, and I'm at a range. I'm getting close to a range where I know I can evade. The biggest strength of uh, the biggest strength of the ship is its AP, and the uh, hard the hard hitting AP that these American heavy cruisers have with their improved auto bounce angles. The problem with this ship is that its reload is so much slower compared to like the Baltimore that you really notice it. And its armor scheme is weaker than the Baltimore. It's the only thing this, this ship really has over the Baltimore is the fact that it gets a long-range radar. And that's really it. Um, I actually used this ship in, when the, the Tier 7 rank season was happening. This is before they buffed the radar. I used this ship to hunt Belfast because Belfast were like running rampant. So I'd see their smoke. I'd push up my radar up to their smoke. I'd hit the button. And then I'd drop an AP salve on him, and then our entire team would focus him down and kill him. This was kind of like the dark horse of that of that uh, season for me. And now I'm going to focus this DD. 
He's the biggest threat to our team. The Iron Duke's out of my range. I might as well chunk him. And I get a very respectable chunk. An active a DD that's actively maneuvering is so much harder to hit. This guy's kind of just bull rushing to a straight line to get me. I mean, he's in a crossfire. There's nothing he can do. And I kind of snake that kill. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it again. If we look at the map and we look at the lineup, our team, we're pretty much even now minus points. Like as far as ship lineup goes, we're even. Minus the fact that our carrier was AFK and got focused down and killed. That was huge. And if you can see in chat that uh, people are bitching about it. Uh, if you've been paying attention. But what I, my goal right now is there's a bunch of cruisers that are pretty much unscathed. And my job right now is to punish the ships that my ship can punish the most. And what my ship punishes the most is cruisers. I overmatch in Omaha and I overmatch in Atlanta. They're my they're my primary targets. I kill them, it helps our team out. The lack of a carrier. In my opinion, we didn't lose this game because we didn't have a carrier. We lost this game because I fucked up in the beginning. Bottom line, that, that's why I think uh, th this game ends up being a lot harder than it is. But so the Omaha is who I'm kind of looking at. The the knives now in Colorado, I'm a little concerned with. Uh, but I think that I can effectively evade and punish this Oma before they can get effective fire on me. And so that's all I'm doing right now is moving to where I believe the Omaha is to give me a firing angle on them and to punish the Omaha as much as humanly possible. Pretty much at any point in this battle, I think that I might die. I might miss something. I might make another mistake that causes me to take a lot of damage. And I'm every time I fire, I'm constantly spotted because you know they have a carrier. And so I'm going to try to chunk this. The, my first volley wasn't ops, wasn't very great, so I make an adjustment and I get a better salvo. Sit it on a bounce, science. I'm checking that Atlanta to see if he's going to make a mistake. And then I see these Torps coming in. If this Omaha has his Hydra up and evades, which he didn't, I can maybe finish him off if I get a good shot in. And I do. And now it's time for the Atlanta to, to get some uh, to get some loving. The Sheer Out CU is a, it, right now, is a pretty big threat. Uh, but a Mahan just outright DP, out DPMs him. So I'm hoping the Mahan can handle it. Why deal with this Atlanta? Now this shot is going to be short. I should have aimed lower and more to the right. And this Atlanta would have died. But now the Nisenau and Colorado are getting a little too close. I'm targeted. I have to back off. I've a fish. I went from what was it, 20, 28, 26k damage, all the way up to 70 in a very short period of time. And this is honestly the, the like uh, the way this ship differs from like a Des Moines or the well, the upper tiers is that you don't have the armor to anchor on an island uh, where you pick an island and just use your front guns. You don't have the armor to withstand anything. They have enough armor where they can withstand it for a time, and they have the DPM to actually capitalize on the time that they can withstand it. This ship just can't. Uh, and the accuracy isn't as good as those upper tiers either. So, Okay, so this is Indianapolis. I'm looking at him. I go, okay, he's definitely going to turn out. There's a Colorado he's giving broadside to. And right when I pull the trigger, the Colorado deletes him. <laughs> so... That happens. Um, considering I've been at 6k health this entire game, I think I punched above. But I'm still looking for the win here. I'm trying to find a way to win. We outnumber them now. But the problem is, is they still have a carrier. And their carrier is following up behind that group of ships to support them. And I'm kind of stuck here. I'm really confused on what our destroyers are doing. They know there's an Atlanta there. And yet they're both they're all smoking up trying to shoot. And this Atlanta is gonna start farming and killing them. And I th even think they bitch about it in chat, I'm not sure. But th this was a misplay on their end, and I, I would have liked it if if they survived this game could have been different. 
Um, but I'm not going to, you know, put the coals to their feet on this. Like, they, they, they're they trying. They're trying to win. They just make some mistakes. And I, I'm i not, and as an example, I made a huge mistake in the beginning of this game. So I'm not immune. I can't sit here and chastise people when I gave up most of my health on a stupid maneuver at the beginning of the game. And I, I usually don't chastise people to begin with. Um, right now, I'm trying to... I, why I'm looking in the direction I am is I want to see if the Atlanta is going to push up. And then I see his arcs. And I'm like, oh, man, if I could just get a good shot on him. And I don't predict him well here. If you see on the map, he's immediately turning out. I've already blapped him once. He's like, I'm not going to let you do that again. And he doesn't. And so at this point, it's, it's farming Colorado. If that moss has torps up, he's going to be shooting him at the Colorado. If I can get a fire or two, and there's the torps right there. If I can get a fire or two, make him burn his damn con early, maybe he can get a permanent flooding, and this would help. Like the Colorado is the biggest is the biggest thing I need to get I need to get hits on. I know I'm detected, but at this point, like the Colorado is the biggest threat to my team right now. Nice and Al and Atlanta were both shown heading backwards some reason but nice and i just got spotted and is turning around i really want to get a fire but rng is really hating me right now and now that he's taking a torp i need to get a fire again i noticed that he slowed down and at the now at this point in the battle i know where the nice and Al is the atlanta isn't a massive threat to me what I should have done is throttle jockey. What, what I mean by that is go backwards and forwards to try to throw off this Colorado shot and try to finish off this Colorado. That's what I should have done. However, and I'm going to pause it again. The reason I'm not, and whether or not this was smart or stupid, I'm trying to get to our Colorado because I know he's going to get struck next. I can't do anything to help the Conic. But I can help the Colorado, and that's why I'm I'm going full speed south. I want to try and get my AA over him before those before his uh, next planes come up. That's my objective right now. Whether or not the right call in hindsight would be to farm the Colorado. I needed two fires to kill him. I'm aware that I'm being targeted. Shots might be coming in, so I'm wigg wiggling. And I'm just trying to save... I'm trying to everything I can to save this game. Our uh, conning goes down. I can't turn up and fight a Colorado 1v1 with the health that I have. I mean, I could, but it'd be stupid because if I turn up now, the Nizen is probably through that gap and he's going to he's gonna have good shots. I have no idea where the Atlanta is. The Atlanta hasn't been spotted in a while. And I see these planes, and I'm like, crap. This, like, right now, the, the my, my objective is now failed because I couldn't get down here fast enough. The entire reason I, I came down to the enemy cap wasn't the cap, but it was to try to save this Colorado from being struck. And I'm going to fail this objective. So this was a game of mistakes, and I'm not afraid to show my mistakes on YouTube. But the one thing I did showcase is even though I made a massive mistake, I tried as much as I could to make up for it and get things done. Like, I didn't just, like, you know, throw my keyboard against the wall and say, oh, well, screw it. This game's over. I screwed it. You know, I'm, I'm done. Whatever. And I could have been punished more when I made that mistake. And I, I, I think I pointed that out enough. But I'm not going to be able to stop this strike. I do think he survives. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, he survives. Which is good news. Like, he actually evaded that fairly well. And I'm popping my defense. Now, this defensive AI, I'm trying to, I don't know where his plane reserves are at. So, I'm just trying to chunk him a bit more. But I've been hit by so much HE that my AA, my AA just isn't, isn't cutting it. My AA is uh, very short right now. I think I can look at it. Nope, can't look at it. So... Now, this radar was to try to give me information. Boom. I know where the Atlanta is. Problem is, they have permanent spotting on me. And there's nothing I can really do about it. So, I just have to play it by ear. I'm at, you know, 5k health. 
This is going to be rough. And then the knives and out. Oh, I got lucky there. Oh, boy, did I get lucky there. <laughs> I really got lucky there. Now I'm like, all right, it's time to throttle Jockey. Let me see if I can throw off his shot. Let's get this rolling. But the biggest strengths of the ship is your ability to essentially be a shark. No pun intended. If you know the history of Atlantis, you know why that's a pun. Not the Atlantis, the Indianapolis. Uh, you know why that's a pun. But you want to literally just try to find these opportunities to get big hits on cruisers. And when you can, use your radar to spot destroyers and ruin their day. That's the main role of this ship. As far as like an HE spamming, kiting ship, there are plenty other tier 7s that excel at it far better. I mean, the Shores comes to mind. There, there's a number, and I'm switching AP right now to hit the Atlanta. Because if I can kill him, that might save this game. Might. Problem is, the Colorado is in the cap. And again, this Colorado kills a ship that I thought I was going to kill. And it may have been a waste of a salvo. But this game does end up in a loss. Spoiler alert. That's what happens. I think it's pretty clear right now. Like, subscribe. If uh, Follow me on Twitter to get updates on my uh, videos. And I have Patreon and PayPal if you want to donate. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And have a good day. And we'll just let this roll until it ends. And I'll probably fade to black or something. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're fading to black. Have a good day.